Okay, I'm trying a new phone setup. Do you like it? It's really up close. It If it falls, I will start screaming. So, but it's brand new and it seems pretty good so far. But anyways, we are going to Culver's today because I'm craving a fat ass burger and I want onion rings and that's it. I'm gonna get some other shit too, but that's those are the two things I'm craving. So, uh, we're gonna go. Should probably buckle up. Oh, I've been busy. I feel like I haven't done a video in a minute. Oh, hold on. I gotta focus on driving. All right, there's no line. Oh my god, I gotta get ready. Okay. Oh wait, there is a line, okay. Um, I cut my finger. Can you see that? <laughs> on, I cut it on a wine bottle. And I thought I was gonna have to get stitches. This was at work. And I was like, oh, okay, hold on. I'm up next. Hi, may I please get an original butter burger? Did you want cheese on it? Uh, no, thank you. Is that a single, double, or triple patty? Um, I'll do a single, please. Sounds good. What would you like on that burger? Um, everything. And would you like to make it a basket? Sure, I'll do um onion rings. Instead of fries? Yeah, please. Hey, what's the drink? Um, can I substitute for a strawberry lemon ice cooler as my drink? Yep, and would you like to make it a large meal today? Uh, no thank you. Uh, right, what else could I get for you? Um, and then can I just get a side of the Culver's sauce, um, a side of ranch, and then, do, do you have a Ken's Boom Boom sauce? I saw it online. Yeah, I got Boom Boom sauce. Okay, I'll do that also. Uh, right, what else can I get started for you? That's it. Could be 14, 13 up at the window, thank okay, you. thank you. Yeah, not a problem. All right. Um, so anyways, wine bottle, cut my finger, blood everywhere, okay? And I didn't know this, but the wine bottle, like, must have gotten smashed, because there was, like, a crack, like, all the way down, and I was, like, turning the wine key in, and then I was, like, using the steps on it to get it, and as I was, like, pushing up, it just completely, like the neck just shattered in my hand and like a piece of glass went like straight up into my finger and I went into like complete shock. Like I thought I was good around blood, but I guess not. I guess I'm just a little bitch. Wow, I don't know why my voice cracked when I said that, but I felt like such a little pansy ass. Like I went to the kitchen, well, first of all, blood dripping everywhere. I had a rag and we had a tournament going on. So like it was busy. I had all these people like at the bar and I'm literally holding like a rag, like blood dripping everywhere. And I'm like freaking out. I was like sweating profusely for some reason too. Like my brain completely shut off. And this guy like comes up to the bar and he's like, Hey, can I get five shots of fireball? I need a bush light. I need a shandy while I'm like standing there, like shaking, like blood, like just doesn't give a fuck and I'm like um I just cut myself like I'll I'll get you those drinks in just a second he was like oh sorry like fuck you you're not getting fucking fireball shots so I went into the kitchen and I started crying and all the cooks back there are like laughing at me because like oh a server got a little boo-boo we cut our fingers every fucking day I cut the tip of my finger off yesterday and you know what I did I spit on it and I put super glue on it and then I put shit in it and I still didn't cry so I was like a weak bitch hold on I gotta pay Hi. 13 for you. Would you like your receipt today? No, that's okay. Extra napkins at all? 
Ah, uh, yes, please. Thank you. And you are good to pull for it. Okay. I'll do it up for Thanks. You. Have a good day. You too. Uh oh. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Ooh, did I just like hit something? I like how that guy's like, you you want extra napkins, don't you, bitch? And I was like, yeah. How'd you know? Okay, I gotta put my. I got 82. Has anyone else been seeing like crazy angel numbers or is it just me? Like, am I insane? Um, I feel like I'm going a little crazy. Like, does anyone else that is into like angel numbers and like angels and shit, do you see your angel numbers constantly? Like, I really do feel like my angels are really watching me right now and I'm like, whoa. Do you ever get worried that ghosts are watching you like jack off or fart or like take a shit or like do something really gross? Cause I do. But anyways, um, sorry, I had to sanitize and I'm trying not to get any in my cut. It hurts so fucking bad. Like, I think I'm just really sensitive. But anyways, I go in the kitchen, I'm crying, I'm putting my finger under cold water, blood blood just squirting everywhere I was like ah and only I mean everyone was like very concerned because I was crying but they were like yeah you'll be fine but there was one guy in the kitchen that Dylan shout out to Dylan he I thought I legit was gonna pass out for a second I felt so lightheaded and I just felt like a weak little bitch and he was like Steph Steph like stay with me like it's gonna hurt come on let's go like he literally like kept me alive but he saved my life I'm just gonna say it. And he saved my finger. Okay. Um. I'm gonna roll my window a little bit. Um. Forgot what I was saying. Oh, oh, that guy just like smiled at me all really scary. Do I move up? What is the Culver's etiquette? Like, do any diehard Culver's... Like, I don't really go to Culver's often. And I'm in Park 2. Do I move up now that Park 3 is gone? Anyways, I didn't get stitches because um, I guess it was, like, too small of a cut. And they told me that they just ripped my skin off and cauterize it. And I was like, fuck that. So, I've just been a big baby. I, like, any time I'm, like, the whole, like, last 24 hours at home with Jordan, I've been like, my finger, can you go get me a bottle of water? And he's like, yeah, I got you. And I'm like, my finger, like, all the time. I just milk it. But I think Jordan likes to take care of me. He likes it. Anyways, um, I got a list, like usual, of stuff. I don't even know where to begin. I've just had a lot of shit going on. Um, so besides cutting my finger, I went to the Shrek rave. All right. And I think it'll be a minute before my food comes, but I got to show you. I made this. And it's a necklace. I made one for me and one for Jordan. And I'm very proud of this. And I cannot tell you how many people were like, holy shit, where did you get that? And I was like, I made it, like, hell yeah. And people were like, I would buy that. Oh, is this me? Is this me? Thank you. You too. Okay. I'll continue with the Shrek rave story because I got some stories about it all right um let me see oh I would park there but there's some other bitch sorry I don't know why I said that so aggressively she's just having culvers like I am it's way too sunny over here I can already sense oh well maybe not this, this is good this is good okay <sighs> I'm just exhausted. I like do one thing a day and I'm like, well, time to sleep for hours. Um, 
yeah, so I made this and I'm very proud of it. Anyways, I got this from Pinterest. I didn't, this is not my original design. Somebody else made this and I copied it, okay? I don't know the original artist, I'm sorry. But I did hand do all the beads and these beads, whatever. Anyways, I'll get to eating. Got my cooler. Let me try this shit. Ooh, it's a good, that's a good texture. Ooh, I just got like a shiver. Okay. That is so stupid good. But I bet there's red 40 in this. I didn't even think about that. What the fuck? <laughs> I see a meme a lot where it's like, will take random drugs from strangers, won't eat Red 40. And that is true. Talking about the Shrek rave. This is thick as fuck. Hold on. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. This is so stupid good. I didn't know I needed this. Mm. Okay, let me take my sunglasses off oh I'm so excited let me try an onion ring baby mm. 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 oh hell yeah mm. Mm. I love onion rings so much oh my god these are great so we go to the Shrek grave, and we get there, like, right away, which was kind of dumb, because it didn't get popping until, like, I think doors opened at 9, we got there at, like, 9.30, and shit didn't start popping off until, like, 11, but that's fine. Um, it was expensive. It was, like, $45 a person, so we get there, and I am so impressed with the Fargo community with coming up with Shrek costume ideas. There was every possible Shrek character there. It was fucking awesome. Shrek, donkey, uh, gingerbread man, puss in boots, any fairyland character. And like people had really cool, oh, Lord Farquaad. There were a ton of Lord Farquaads there. And that was awesome too. Let me try some of these sauces. The signature sauce. We'll try that first. Um, but I also, weirdly enough, saw a ton of people from my high school that I graduated with. I'm 32 and I graduated in 2009. <sighs> Okay, I'm a little skeptic of this. Let me, I don't want that piece. Give me the best onion ring. Oh, I found a good one. Okay, 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 okay. Mmm, mmm. This is very, very weird. I was not expecting that flavor. What the fuck is this? It's like, it's like creamy, buffalo-y, ranchy. It's like they put every sauce together, kind of. I think I figured it out. If anyone knows what it is, tell me. But this is a very odd taste. But it's good. Hmm. Okay. God, what is that? I need a little sip of this fucking amazing drink. But. Mm. Like. In the beginning of the rave. I was a little terrified. To approach anyone that I went to high school with. Just because of my crippling. Painful social anxiety. Um, but as the drinks started flowing. And other things started flowing. I still didn't really approach anybody actually but I had someone approach me and they were like Steph and I was like 
Alex. And it, I don't know how to not be the most awkward person ever. And by this time I was like kind of tripping balls and there's like Shrek, um, videos playing on all over the walls, like crazy ass Shrek, Shrek's face morphing. Okay. Into like donkey and then donkey morphing and other shit, just whatever. And then this guy that I went to high school with that I haven't talked to in years would came up to me and was like, Steph. And I was like, Alex. And he was like shocked that I remembered him. Like, fuck, I fucking remember everyone. I remember all the embarrassing shit you did in high school. And I have more stories about that continuing. That's been weird. Okay. I've seen a lot of people from my high school this week and I don't know why. Anyways, we're going to try the ranch. And he gave me a hug, this guy, Alex, and I gave him a hug and I was like, oh, so good to see you. Like, you, and then I was like, you smell really good. And he was like, thanks. And then it was just awkward. And he was like, take care. And I was like, bye. And then I, I don't know. I don't, I was scared as fuck. I'm still, I'm just playing that over in my head. Like, wow, this stupid bitch. But, oh, excuse me. Um, hmm. It says it's buttermilk ranch. Better not disappoint. Oop. But, um, so, let me take a bite. Hmm. I mean, this ranch is not good. This is ass. This is bullshit. This is not Buttermilk Ranch. I'm very disappointed, Culver's. I kind of forgot what I was saying. I'm so disappointed. We're going to try the Boom Boom Sauce. Oh, Boom Boom Sauce. Um, so there were lots of people with, um, like canes like you know when someone's blind and they have like canes and Jordan was like why the fuck are so many people like making fun of blind people like is this a joke like what the fuck is going on and they were all dressed up as mice too and I was like Jordan it's like the three blind mice and he was like Oh, like, and then I laughed about that for like an hour, but he literally was like pissed. He was like, why the fuck are people making fun of blind people? Like, what the hell? But anyways, boom, boom sauce. Oh, oh, that's spicy. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's good. That's freaking spicy. Holy balls. My nose is running. Sorry, that's gross. Oh my god. I'm gonna don't look at me. Okay. Ugh. What else happened? Oh, I danced my ass off at this rave. I haven't danced or done any physical activity like that in a long time. I've been, I'm still like sore from it. Mm. But I do vividly remember like the fairy godmother, they had a video projected of her twerking, like shaking ass, just dumpy, just bam, 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 bam. And then they played the hallelujah song and the entire crowd was singing hallelujah, hallelujah, while grandma godmother was just shaking her fat ass and it was awesome. The DJs were from New Jersey. Mm. And um, it was great. Try this burger. Oh, hell yeah. I gotta get a picture. This is beautiful. See if I, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm really pumped. 
I, sh I probably should have gotten cheese, but I didn't want to get like violently sick. Wonder. Okay, let me try it with the drink. Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh my God. All right, burger time, bitch. I'm gonna put these sauces away. I was very disappointed in the sauces, Culver's. Oh no. Sorry, I'm having a difficulty here. Okay, first bite, burger. That is ridiculously good. Oh my God. Wow. I'm just gonna like devour this whole freaking burger. Whoop. Mm. But I also, uh, my friend Pete had his birthday party and it was like a rager. Is my phone shaking? This new phone setup, if it's shaking, I'm going to freak out. I hope it's not bad. Ugh, I just realized that. Anyways, uh, we went frolfing. And my friend Sid got a hole-in-one, so we all lost our shit. And then um, it started the thunderstorm. And then after that, we had a bonfire. We played bags. We went to Chinese. It was like a whole day. Just exhausted. It was fun, though. Um... And then I went to the Renaissance Fair the next day. Oh, shit. Mm. And the Renaissance Fair was, okay, in the beginning, I was cringing my ass off. And like, I hate to say that because like Renaissance people that are enthusiastic enthusiastic about Renaissance fairs they're not hurting anybody they're not doing anything wrong but when I go in and there's people that are like well hello my lady blah 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 I'm like oh god just no or like you sir have some mead or some shit. I was like, Ugh. but as the day went on, it was pretty cool. And I got these earrings there. Hold on, I got ketchup. Like, I don't know if you can see, they're beautiful, beautiful handmade earrings, like gorgeous. Guess how much? $10. Couldn't believe it. I got some little mushroom plushies. I was going to bring to show you, but I was like, I don't want to get them all dirty. But we stayed for the jousting thing and the like night that was the crowd favorite. Like there were a lot of people there ready to watch these guys joust each other. And one guy was like, throw me alcohol or whatever. And some guy threw him a truly. And so he was like in front of the crowd, he cracked open the truly on his horse. And he's just like dumping it all over himself, dumping it all over the horse. And then he like whips it all into the crowd. 
and there's just a little baby being held by its mom, like right up by the fence. And this baby just gets like fucking pelted in the face with a bunch of truly just like soaked. And the baby is like, ah! just like freaking out. And I, w I laughed. I thought it was pretty fucking funny. But um, anyways, that's all I remember from the jousting really was uh, baby getting covered in truly. But going back to like seeing people from my high school, there was a guy there who had a booth. And I, I'm not going to give details because you could maybe look this person up but I'll say his name was Brian excuse me and I didn't know like I knew he would remember me because like we had some experiences in high school like I'll go over it okay so <laughs> let me have a bite first This is messy. I'm spilling. Let me finish this. Mm. Oh. That is unbelievably good, you guys. Holy shit. I needed that. I didn't know I needed that. Go to Culver's. Like, it always slaps. And I forget about it. Like I said, I don't have it often. But when I do, man. Okay. Um. So, I'm just telling these stories about this guy. Because every weird interaction with I, that I've had with him has just been, like, one of the funniest memories that... I remember so the first one we lived in the same neighborhood growing up and he came over with his friend Brad and we had my family has a pool table in our basement and we were just like fucking around like throwing pool balls like not actually playing pool but Brian had the pool stick and he accidentally like smacked it on the ground and it broke into three pieces it was like the bottom piece a little middle piece and then the top part and we were like, oh shit, because it was like brand new and my dad just bought it and my dad was kind of like really into pool. And so what we did was Brian, we have like a pool rack on the wall, like a pool stick rack. And he perfectly balanced the pool stick to make it look like it was still together and then just like left it on the rack. And I was like, yep, that's good with me. And then like a week later, my dad went to go play pool and he grabbed it and it just like, completely fell apart in his hands and he was like what the fuck like and I laugh about that to this day just like thinking about my dad grabbing it like I just that's just funny and um <laughs> the other interaction like the last time I saw this guy he was telling me about how um he got kicked out of the Eagle Scouts for something and he went into the woods and like uprooted a tree, was just beating the shit out of trees. He was so mad that he got kicked out of Eagle Scouts, screaming, going ape shit. And like, if you could picture this, I wish I could tell you like what he looked like, but I'm not going to, but it's just hilarious to think about. And then I remember him and I had seventh grade health class together. And it was a picture of the female anatomy and our teacher was like going over it and it was like a side view so it was like there was like the rectum and then like intestines and Brian raised his hand and he was like is that a finger like where the rectum and the intestine was because it it legit looked like a finger and the entire class erupted into screaming laughing and because it looked like a fucking finger and Anyways, um, the teacher was like, that's not a finger, like trying to calm everybody down. But I remember that. And then, um, the other memory I have of this guy was I randomly like, excuse me, ran into him on campus. Cause we also went to the same college and he was like, Oh, Hey, like, how have you been? And he's like, I did DMT for the first time. And that shit was fucking crazy. I looked at my hand and it turned into a bunch of squares and 
holy shit. And then he was like, we'll see you later. And I was like, what? <laughs> so anyways, I go up to this booth and all of those memories are like montaging in my head. And I was like, hey. And yeah, that's my story of Brian. But who else am I going to see for my freaking high school? But I'm going to finish my onion rings. But also, shout out, I got, oh, bitch, I got a Cane's cup. Yeah. Thank you so much, Liv. Thank you so much. So Liv was in the shack before me and knew that I was going to work the day after her. And she left this in there with a sweet note. Like, to the mukbang queen, love live. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy about this. Like, ugh, amazing. Yeah, look at that. Incredible. This made my whole freaking month. Thank you so much. I want to, I, like, wonder if I can get them all on eBay. I think I can, because I think there's four of them. But I'm so happy. What else have I been up to? I started How I Met Your Mother and Sorry, I don't know what that was. I've never seen How I Met Your Mother and like it's good but there's some like shit in that show that would not would never fly today and like I feel like Neil Patrick Harris is the only actor that could get away with doing that Barney's character and by the way I love the name Barney not for a human but for animals I think I've mentioned mentioned that before but like I've always wanted a boy chihuahua named Barney. Isn't that cute? I just want a little, little Barney. Little Barney. But anyways, I'm on like season five already. I've been blasting that shit. It's good. I'm, I'm bored. I need new shows. I got a list of shows like to watch and How I Met Your Mother has been on there for years. And I'm finally like, all right, but I like it. Like it's, yeah. Uh, ooh, let me do a crunch for those people that like the crunch. So, I've had the opportunity to kind of collab with someone on the radio. And, like, I, I want to do it, but I am so terrified because, like, doing YouTube is so different than being, like, live on the air. Like, okay, so literally, this is random, but I looked at the timer and it said 3333 33 as I was, like, talking about this. And I swear to God, anytime I talk about this, my angel numbers are like, do it. Do it. You need to do it. And I'm like, all right, bitch, I'll try but do you know how scary it is? That shit's fucking scary. As some, for someone that has social anxiety, like, he basically said there's no script. You come on air and we just kind of like bullshit together. And he's like, but one thing, you cannot swear. And I'm like, because I know the first word out of my mouth is going to be like, I'm just going to be like, Hello, gaping asshole, goodbye, or something. Like, I'm not gonna be able to not swear. Like, that sh shit's hard to do. And I'm, like, getting really in my head about it, but I want to do it. But I'm, like, I, w I, like, when I do YouTube, I know I can pause at any point. It's a very controlled situ situation for me. I have a list of things to go through, usually. But to just go on there and be put on the spot, I'm like, whew, scary. But I will try to get over my fear. I'm going to try to do it. Like, I think it's important to try to face your fears. And I really have over the last couple of years with my social anxiety. Like, 
even doing YouTube, sometimes I get very, very like sick to my stomach, nervous about it for some reason. But anyways, so watch out for that. I might be on the air. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna finish my onion rings and talk about one more thing and then I'll go. Mm. So, the Culver's, um, besides the sauces, I mean, that was, the burgers a 10 out of 10, the onion rings, like a 9 out of 10, this shit, 10 out of 10. The sauces are dog shit and complete failures. But, mm. so I finished this book. Sorry if you're not here for book content. It's just one book that I'm going to talk about. And <clears throat> I read a lot of horror. A lot of disturbing a lot of scary I like that genre because it's really the only thing I like I like feeling that it makes me feel stuff this book legit scared me like and I read before bed which is not ideal for this book I'm gonna say it's essentially like okay the story is great. It starts out great. And I will say I was disappointed by the ending. Okay? They could have done a lot with the ending. But they ended it. Like, they could have kept it going. I'm just saying. But, um, excuse me. It's about this kid. Well, first of all, it's about an adult writing the book of the experience he had as a kid. About a fucked up pen pal that he had. So he's in school, like second grade, and they um, let go of balloons with the school's address, their name, and a dollar for stamps. And this kid writes on the dollar like four stamps and like draws a little guy with a balloon. And they let the balloon go. And then all the kids in the school get like pen pal letters of people that find these notes. And, um, they ask if that you'll take like a Polaroid picture or send something to show where you are located. Well, this kid waits and waits and waits and then he finally gets one and it's um, like a weird Polaroid with nothing else in it. Just like one Polaroid, no note, whatever. And then he keeps progressively getting more and more and more like as the school year goes on and he doesn't really think anything of it until it's the last day of school and he brings all of his Polaroids home and he sees them all together and realizes that he's in most of the pictures. It just, it is so creepy. And then they have a lemonade stand and somehow he gets the dollar back that says four stamps with the little guy drawn on it and like doesn't remember who gave it to him. And, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting fucking goosebumps. Like, oh, and they're, like, I'm not trying to ruin anything. Like, it's, it's so creepy. And there's, like, a part with a walkie-talkie and a missing cat and, oh, my God. But, anyways, excuse me. Oh, my God. If the ending wasn't poopy, this would have been, like, a great book. It is a great book, but... The ending, to me, was pretty dumb. It's morbid. Like, the ending's morbid. But I was like... I need more details. But they make the, like, spooky pen pal, like, so ambiguous. And so, um... Just, you never see their face. Like, it's just great. 
So anyways, I recommend if you like scary books, this was scary and I liked it. Anyways, I'm going to go. I got to go buy some perler beads. I had to do something else. What the fuck was I going to do? I don't know. Anyways, I love you so much. And if you could please subscribe if you've watched this. I would love you forever. And I'm trying to reach another goal. I want, I would really love a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Because that way I can start making money on YouTube. I'm pr like, I think, I hope that's right. I don't know. I looked into it and it was like, you have to have a thousand followers and a certain number of view count in order to apply for like the YouTube creator fund. So... I'm shooting for a thousand by December, so please subscribe. I love you so much, okay? Okay, bye. Oh, let me know what you think of this camera setup. Is this better? Okay, okay, bye.